everybody, it's Dave Borden with Rent Screener and George Trombley with Blackbird Realty. Today we're going to talk to you about how criminal records and eviction records are going to affect your ability to rent a property from an apartment complex, property manager, or an individual landlord. Again, this series, Get Ready to Rent, Behind the Scenes with a Real Property Manager, is designed to get you prepared to rent a property, but also to save you the hassle of filling out and paying for unnecessary applications when you know that you're going to get denied for whatever reason. So, if you have a criminal or eviction record, you can check that with almost any kind of background checking service on the internet. And you know if you've committed a crime and been convicted of it, and you know if you've ever been evicted. So, we're gonna to talk to George about how that affects his company, but it may affect someone else differently. The idea is that you have to be aware of these items before you apply for something, and you have to know what the policy is of the company that you're going to talk to. George Trombley's been doing property management for 49 years. He's screened over 10,000 tenants. George, starting with criminal activity, can you kind of walk us through what you look at and how you look at different levels from traffic tickets all the way up to felonies? Right, yeah, traffic tickets, um you know, if you don't have a, a multiple uh, amount of traffic tickets for speeding and uh, doing stupid stuff that you're going to be doing maybe on my property, probably not going to be too concerned about that. But when we get up to... Um, Let's move up to like a misdemeanor, misdemeanor maybe a, a DUI or a, D, a marijuana yeah. charge or... Yeah, DUI is not going to be a factor, but marijuana is, uh, is going to be something that we're going to look at because... Land, some kids. places that's a felony, some places it's a misdemeanor, exactly. some places it's a... In all places you're going to smoke that in my house and then I'm going to have to get that out of the ductwork and off the walls, off the carpet, so I'm probably not going to want you to move in there because of that. You know, felons, felonies, yeah, just violent felonies, where you save your money, you're not moving in. We just don't accept felons. We're a crime-free uh, housing broker and crime-free housing brokers don't rent to people with criminal activities. Criminals are not a protected class, and we, we stay away from that. Okay, now remember, that's George's policy. Obviously, there are plenty of communities, plenty of property managers, plenty of individual landlords that may rent to a felon. And you have to, the, the point that we're trying to, to make here, we're trying to save you, is that if you know that you have been convicted of a, felon, a felony, ask George first, before you even look at the property, say, hey, I've been convicted of a felony, should I even bother applying? And his answer to you is going to be no. Somebody else's answer might be, you know what, we're okay with that. Or we believe in second chances. Or this community is perfectly fine with that. Or there are several circumstances out there where they'll be okay with that. And right. we're, not, we're not here to make that decision right. or that judgment. One of the important things to say, though, is a, felon, a felony, I mean, if it's old, if it's uh, 15 years old and there's been in no, no problem since then, then yeah, it, you're going to be considered for tenancy. So, just just be honest with the property manager. I just got out of jail. Is not going to be as is going to be really bad. Uh, but I got out of jail 15 years ago, and I was really dumb when I did something. And I've had uh, great history since. And I've had a great history since then. I um, so it's all in it's all in what the property manager can learn about it, and he'll make the decision. But um, so again, know before you before you eat. Every application is going to cost you money, and if you know you're a convicted felon, and that's going and, ask, and you've asked asked the property manager first, is that going to just is that going to disqualify me? And if the answer is yes, just don't apply and save your money, right. and go to the next person that may be willing to work with you. Right. Exactly. Now let's talk about evictions. Okay, evictions depends on the jurisdiction that you are evicted from. Some jurisdictions, when they evict you, it's for possession of the property only. So if there was an eviction for possession only, you may be able to rent from us, provided that there's what is, no... What does possession only mean? means that they, they took the property away from you, but they assigned no monetary judgment value. Okay. They simply gave your property back to the property manager okay. or the homeowner, and it was for possession only. Don't know why, don't know why those are there, so you've got to investigate that further. Some owners do that because they wanted to break a lease the tenant had moved and they're just doing it to get to possession so there's no repercussions later on. Okay. So you look at that, but if you find an eviction and it's from ABC Property Management Company and then you go look at the credit report under the uh, collections and you find that there's a, 
$3,400 collection account for ABC Realty, pretty much eviction, and then there was a collection account, money wasn't paid. But just the fact that you got evicted, and then there's a paid collection, shows that you, you cleaned it up, you straightened it out. A lot, of, a lot of reasons why people get evicted. They moved their boyfriend in, or they moved their girlfriend in, they violated the lease in some way, and they got evicted, and the landlord just got possession for a lease violation. It wasn't about your payment history. It was about a stupid, a stupid mistake that the tenant made. And um, so those are all considered. They're not automatic. We're not going to rent to you, but they're considered and they're evaluated for, for what they are. So George has dealt with lots of tenants in his life and he has a reputation for being a pretty tough guy, but even he may be willing to work with you. The point is you have to be able, you have to disclose that stuff. Every property manager, every landlord appreciates honesty. And we're not here to judge anything that anybody's done, right. but we're just here to let you know that it, you have to disclose this stuff beforehand so that they can let you know whether or not they're willing to work with you so that you don't waste your application dollars. Right. George, who do you work for? I work for the owner of the property. So I have five so, or 600 different bosses because we manage five or 600 different properties. And a lot of tenants get the impression that you're working for them and that you're going to do your level best to get them into the property. But the property manager's position is to protect the owner from a bad stuff happening. And tenant screening is part of the, the property manager's job. And not only is that your job, but it's your legal responsibility. It is. You have certain statutory requirements right. to protect that owner. Right. So it's nothing against anything anybody has ever done. It's not a judgment. Right. Property managers, apartment complexes are paid to protect those investments and so they're going to consider everything that you've done in your past. Again, for the final time, to reiterate, all it is is we want you to know that stuff beforehand and disclose it. It will save you application fees, it'll save you hassle, it'll save you looking at a bunch of properties that you're just not going to be able to rent. So, one, one thing, Dave, is you know our applications are online. So before you can put in any data, get your credit card out, pay any fee, We've got a, a, a rental policy there and it's displayed and it tells you everything that is going to be considered before you even put the application in. Right. So you look that over and if you've got one of those things on there that you know is going to zero you out, you know, and you either would, don't apply or don't, call. Don't apply right? or call and say, look, this is what happened and I, your policy's not clear, then we can straighten it out. But I mean, before we, we want you to know beforehand, read everything before you give us your money because once you give us the money, it's not refundable. It's not refundable because I've bought a credit report or I bought a criminal background check with that money. And our fees are relatively low, so we're not getting rich off of them. We're turning around and spending the money to buy the report so that we can evaluate you. And it's a lot easier to approve a tenant than it is to disapprove a tenant. You approve a tenant, they move in, everybody's happy. You disapprove a tenant, a lot of reporting that's got to go on, a lot of stuff that you got to do to... A lot of paperwork for A lot of paperwork process. for me to process. So George would rather approve you than disapprove you, exactly. but he's got to protect his owners. Right. And, and just be honest with us. Uh, just be honest with whoever you're dealing with. I'm Dave Board with Rent Screener. If you have any questions, you can contact me, Dave, at rentscreener.com. If you have any questions for George? Yeah, it's uh, George at uh, our broker at blackbirdrealty.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Yep.